It's Mike Murphy. I just want to take a second and explain to you why I made this video and who it's for. This video is for anyone using a Mac running High Sierra operating system. That's 10.13 operating system on a Mac or later. Lately, I have been getting a lot of error messages formatting my hard drives, and I have hard drives everywhere. I work in video and photo, so I live by the external hard drive. I have always used a Mac without an issue, but lately I have been getting these error messages. I kind of thought maybe Amazon was sending lesser quality hard drives. I have even sent a couple back for clients who could not get their hard drives to format. Then I discovered this little setting in Disk Utility made by Apple in the latest version of 10.13 or later. It is not in the previous versions and I have no idea what the purpose of this is, but look for the view menu. The video will explain everything of how to correctly format everything. But once I figure this out, I realize, oh my gosh, this is the reason I've gotten these error messages. I just want to share it with you and help you realize if you've been getting error messages, this might be the reason why. And just as an FYI, the reason I made this or the reason I figured out, I have used these LaCie hard drives forever without ever having an issue. And when I just bought my brand new six terabyte and got the issue, I said, I got to figure out why this is happening because these have never failed me. I'll leave the links to the hard drives that I love the most, but watch the video and hopefully it helps you if you have ha experienced the same thing I was having. I love when I solve a problem that really, <laughs> that really troubles me and I want to share it with you. My name is Mike Murphy. Enjoy the video. If you have questions or need any help with it, please let me know. Cheers. Today's quick tip is in Disk Utility on Mac computers running operating system 10.13 or higher. You can find Disk Utility in the Applications folder. Scroll down to you see Utilities and you'll see it right here. You can also go into Finder under the Go menu. Click on Utilities. It'll bring you to this exact menu. Disk Utility. This is the program that you use to format external hard drives. You can also run First Aid or Repair Disk Permissions as it used to be called. And you can also partition hard drives. To format an external hard drive on a Mac using Disk Utility, select the drive that you want to format over here on the left side. Be sure, double check that you have the correct drive selected because formatting will erase everything on that drive. In fact, if you have multiple external hard drives, I often eject them before I do any reformatting. You can eject or unmount a drive by simply clicking this little eject button right here, okay? So have the correct drive selected and you want to have the top entry selected. If you do not see two entries for a hard drive over here, you're probably using Mac OS Sierra 10.13 or later. So you want to make sure that you choose this little view menu and show all devices. You can also get to it up here, show all devices. That'll show the two entries. You want to make sure you have the top one selected, okay? So what we're going to do over here is now we're going to choose erase. Again, this is going to erase everything on that drive. So when you're absolutely certain that you have the correct drive selected, you can pull this just to make sure you're reading it, okay? You want to choose erase. And it's going to give you some option here. You can name it. I'm going to name it the 2018 6 terabyte so I know which drive it is. Okay. I'm going to choose Mac OS Extended Journal, not Master Boot Record. I want to choose this GUID Partition Map. I'm going to choose Erase. That is going to erase everything. It's going to format it. And then it's going to mount it to my desktop. So here we go. I have the right one selected. I am ready to go. Hit Erase. It's unmounting the disk. It's formatting. When it's done, it's going to tell me all is good. And it's going to mount on my hard drive. It's erase process is complete. Click done to continue. And it's going to show up on my desktop as a formatted drive. I'm going to hit command I. And now I can see the capacity is six terabytes available is six terabytes. And I have successfully formatted that drive using disk utility. So again, this was a tip for Mac OS High Sierra users. If you do not see two volumes here and you're trying to format the volume, you're going to get errors or you're going to get the wrong capacity. So be sure to go to the view menu, show all devices, or go to view, show all devices if you don't see them. My name is Mike Murphy. I hope you found this tip helpful. Cheers.